Millions of us will indeed sit down tomorrow to celebrate Thanksgiving. But you know, as I said earlier, it was a very controversial election. Will there be political talk around the dinner table? And if so, can we have a family split? <laughs> Look who is here for advice. Father Jonathan Morris. Good morning. <laughs> yes, good morning. <laughs> good morning. I said about 10 minutes ago, my advice is no politics at the Thanksgiving dinner table. What say you? Yeah, talk about things that matter to you, matter to you, but do it in a civil way. Um, I think we're grown-ups. That's not always possible with this I wouldn't suggest Father, you know wine that. and beer <laughs> together with that conversation. Well, you know that's what's going to happen. Right. Come on. Stay away from the eggnog if you're going to talk no, about politics. No, no, you're wrong. On this, Father, you okay. are wrong. Stay away from politics. When your guests walk through the door, you make the rule. No politics at the that's dinner table. ridiculous. No, it's what are you not. Gonna talk about the weather? Your family, yes. You yes. should talk about religion and politics at the table. <laughs> I'm all for it. How about sex? You want to bring that in? No problem. <laughs> oh, come on. You should talk about things that matter. But you should do it in a civil way and respecting the other person's, not only their position, but where they're coming from. Why is it that they are so, so sad about this election? Why are they so happy? Get to know each other and do it in a kind way. Stay away from the eggnog while you're doing it. My you're, only suggestion. You're a wonderful Christian and you're a very good soul and I know that. But you're wildly unrealistic and I think you know that too, don't you? I'm going to be in a house, I think, with 37 of my closest relatives, <laughs> um, including 17 kids, for three days. Okay? I'm not naive. Oof. I know what it's going to be like and um, I'm up for it. You are? Yes. Well, you're, you're the priest in the family. Uh, <laughs> they don't. They they could care less <laughs> when they're when they're talk, when they're arguing with me. Are there any Protestants in the family? Um, we've allowed some to join the family. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> wow. Any Episcopalians? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get serious. Well, that was serious. Let's get even more serious. Uh, Donald Trump says he's not going to pursue prosecution of Hillary Clinton. That, to me, is forgiveness. You approve? I'm all in favor of forgiveness, but when you're a politician, you have to it, it, you, you have to balance out forgiveness in this case with justice, and not only that, but also the respect for the rule of law, and cool. uh, and equality before the law. And so I think if if Donald Trump is is going to give this pardon, so to speak, he has to give a justification for it, that this is the best thing for the country, not that it's my whim. Well, because when you have politicians... But that is a justification. Because it well, be, a prosecution a, a would deeper, be divisive. He has to give a deeper nod. I think so. I think I'm going to... Uh, no, why? Because you, all you have to do is play, this is the reason why I'm going to uh, lock her up during the campaign, and then this kind of whimsical, ah, I think I'll pardon her. No, give a serious justification. That's, that's very important for the rule of law and the respect for law. So if it comes up tomorrow around the Thanksgiving table at the Father Jonathan Morris household and someone says, lock her up, that's the wrong thing to say. You don't want that. that you will chastise that person. No, say, I will pass the eggnog. Yeah. Right? <laughs> no, don't do no, that. No, 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 I would. I would. I, I, you know, I think, I think it could be a very good thing for this country for Donald Trump just to drop it. Yeah. Okay, to drop it. Because it's not a question of yes. whether she needs to be pardoned because she hasn't been indicted. But just she, maybe drop just it. drop it. But drop then it. he needs to give an explanation of why he's doing it. Because it's good for the country. But he has to give a serious explanation. But what, not, what's not wrong just, with not a, not a for tweet. the country? That's serious. No, Come on. Oh, but he has to explain why. And all these things. You have to go, you have to go deep into this. He, he's, not, he's no longer a candidate. He's you, look, a uh, president-elect. Can I come to dinner tomorrow? Because you need an Episcopalian around your table, <laughs> and that's a fact. Now, I've got one last one for you. Yeah. This is fa fast-moving here. Most people know the, pub the dating app. It's called Tinder. Did you know that there is a new app called Cinder, S-I-N, as in Cinder? It tells people where to go to the closest church for confessional. Is that going to put you out of business? <laughs> no, you know, I'm all in favor of any technology that can lead people toward God, toward uh, religion toward uh, higher values. And if this is it, I'm all good. So we're not, you're okay with a free market in confession? Uh, of course. M maximum information Not only confession, individual. but to go find the church where you feel most comfortable, where you you're most inspired by God. You don't charge, do you? I mean, could you offer a discount? I'm uh, not Episcopalian. On, on <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh, high five on that one, please. That was very, very good. Oh, man, you're good. All right, that's enough. Uh, Father Jonathan, we hope Thank you have you. a wonderful Thanksgiving. Likewise.